Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series where we explore the physical science concepts found in skateboarding and BMX. In this video segment, Motion, we're going to learn all about motion. Action sports such as skateboarding and BMX are great examples of motion. So let's get moving with motion. Acceleration is also a fundamental scientific concept that relates to motion. Acceleration is calculated by subtracting the starting velocity from the final velocity and the dividing the result by the time. Acceleration is the rate at which the velocity of an object changes in a certain amount of time. If the velocity is constant, there is no acceleration because there is no change in velocity. Deceleration is a special form of acceleration. It is defined as the loss of velocity over time. For example, when a rider drops in on a ramp, the velocity changes from zero to a final velocity at the bottom of the ramp. The acceleration is a calculation of how fast that change took place. If the rider had a final velocity of two meters per second and it took 1.2 seconds for the rider to drop in on the ramp, can you calculate the acceleration? In this example, the final velocity is 2 and the initial velocity is 0. Dividing the difference by 1.2 gives a final acceleration of 1.67 meters per second per second. Both acceleration and deceleration can be defined mathematically, provided you know the beginning velocity, the final velocity, and the time it takes them to change. If a BMX rider goes from 0 to 10 seconds per second in 5 seconds, can you calculate the acceleration? A BMX rider going from 0 to 10 meters per second in 5 seconds would have an acceleration equal to 2 meters per second per second. That problem was all about acceleration. But what about deceleration? An acceleration problem that produces a negative answer describes deceleration. A skateboarder who comes off a ramp with a velocity of 20 meters per second and comes to a stop in eight seconds would have what value of deceleration? How do you know if it is deceleration and not acceleration? Since the final velocity is zero and the initial velocity is 20 meters per second, using V final minus V initial, you get zero meters per second minus 20 meters per second, which equals negative 20 meters per second. Dividing this by eight seconds gives you an answer of negative 2.5 meters per second per second. You know it is a deceleration since the answer is negative. 